Okay, so agarose gel electrophoresis, this is part of Collins screening part one. So what we have is you have your uh, uh, extract and then this extract has the dye mixed into it. Now, let me tell you a little bit about the extract. When you isolate plasmid DNA, the DNA that you isolated contains, uh, consists of the following, or let's just say this extract consists of the following. You've got genomic DNA, and genomic DNA is very large, much, much larger than the plasmid. Of course, genomic DNA for bacteria is round, but it's very large. And then you have the plasmid DNA, that is round, but much smaller than the genomic DNA. And then uh, you have RNAs. And there are a number of RNA species in here. Now, uh, what you do is uh, you pour a, pour a one, uh, let's see, pour a 1% agarose gel by weighing out 0 0.5 gram of agarose and then you get 50 mls of uh, 1x TAE okay and you microwave it to dissolve the agarose and then you cool briefly and then you add ethylene bromide that is provided for you uh, at a final concentration of 0 0.5 microgram per ml of gel okay now you take that and you pour it into the gel mold that you have set up and uh, let it polymerize to become solidified and then you remove the comb and then you pour uh, 1XTA and your TA is going to uh, help you. Uh, you pour the buffer into the troughs, both troughs, until the uh, buffer completely covers the gel. Now, uh, we need to orient ourselves right here that when you have the gel that is going to look like this, okay. And then you have the uh, wells on the top right here. Now, I want you to understand that DNA is negatively charged, and so it's going to migrate from the negative pole to the positive pole right here. Okay? And this is black, and this is red. On the apparatus okay and so what I would like for you all to do is uh, if we we're gonna label lane right here and we're gonna say sample right here okay so I'm gonna number lane one two three four five and so the first lane is gonna consist of super cool marker second lane will be sample number one and then you just fill up the other ones, two, three, four. I want each one of you to do two, uh, select two colonies, which means that since there are two people per, uh, per group, uh, there will be a total of four samples. So you got super coil DNA marker that consists of super coil uh, plasmids with different sizes that we're going to use for size markers. 
and then you have sample one, two, three, and four. Now, when you look at this, the picture of this is going to look like this. So in lane one, you're going to have an array of different size of plasmid right here. But in the other lanes, you're going to basically have a very high molecular weight band right there. All right. And then you're going to have on the bottom, toward the bottom, a series of bands, and these are RNAs right here okay but of particular interest to us is a very very heavy band that's going to migrate right here in the middle now what we need to do is we need to decide and you need to look at the key to identify this molecular weight marker and make sure that the plasmid the more the most prominent band actually migrates where it needs to migrate uh, at the right uh, molecular weight. So again, this is uh, colony selection part 1A, and uh, this is, uh, we can call this part 1B for uh, agarose gel electrophoresis.